Welcome back to Upfront. The latest Democrat to join the race for governor says he can unite the state in a way that Republican incumbent Scott Walker cannot. State school superintendent Tony Evers announced his campaign for governor last week. Evers has been the school superintendent since 2009 and was reelected with 70 percent of the vote statewide just four months ago. He is the fifth Democrat now to declare his candidacy. And Tony Evers joins us now on Upfront. Superintendent Evers, good to have you back on the program. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Before we get into why you think you should be the guy, I do want to ask you about Foxconn, which we were talking about in our first segment. And, and I want to be clear on this. You said... If you were governor, you would want to renegotiate that deal. Yeah, I would. I would want to re renegotiate whatever part of that deal can be renegotiated. I don't think it's it's a fair uh, deal for the people of Wisconsin. I think it's a bit of a hail mary pass. Three billion dollars without environmental uh, restrictions on the company and uh, uh, no no guarantees in the number of jobs. We know what's going out, and we don't know what's coming back. And even if we guess at that, it's 25 years. I know companies across the state that have um, expanded greatly for a lot less money, and, uh, and they're doing quite well. I think it's an enormous amount of money. Governor Walker, when he was told about uh, your comments earlier in the week on this subject, said, look, if you open this thing up again, you're going to have 49 other governors out there saying, let me take a shot at all these jobs. What's your response? I would bet that most of them wouldn't go over $3 billion. That is an extraordinarily large amount of money. And what it does is it cramps the, it cramps the state going forward as far as what money is available for schools, for roads, for all number of things that the state is ultimately responsible for. I, I want to talk to you about this, this claim that you can be, you can unite the state in a way that Governor Walker cannot. What, what do you mean by that? How, how are you going to unite it? Well, f first of all, I've, I've run three times, as, as you had mentioned. And every time I have, uh, I've garnered support from people from all walks of life, whether they be Democrats or Republicans, independents. But very so, low turnout elections. Very, I, I understand that, but the, it, it's 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 what uh, the, what the, the result was, and that was a 70 percent turnout. The the other or win. The other thing that's really important to me is that I've lived outside of the Madison bubble for most of my life. I was born and raised in Plymouth. I've worked all across central Wisconsin, so I know rural, I know urban, I've, I've been involved with uh, uh, communities all across the state. And that's why I'm running, frankly. I think it's extraordinarily important that we seek a change in, in, uh, in the outlook of the state of Wisconsin and uh, invest in our citizens and make sure that we have a middle class. You say you've lived outside the Madison bubble, and yet... All you had to do is look at news coverage last week. You had the uh, Republican Party calling you a Madison bureaucrat. You even had an aide to uh, Dana Walks, another Democratic candidate in this race, refer to a, didn't name you, but said somebody was a Madison liberal. I'm assuming he was talking about that with you. How, well, how do you knock that down? Well, f well, first of all, I'm a Plymouth progressive. I'm not a Madison liberal, and I have lived all across the state. People can continue to say that. I was a little disappointed in the, in the walk's comments because it was, uh, I think it was a, a slap also on Mary Burke and, and, and Tom Barrett, both, both of whom worked real hard to become governor of the state of Wisconsin. So, but the bottom line is, I know I can unite the state. As state superintendent, I've worked with the choice community to, to uh, develop more transparency and accountability. I've worked with legislators across the aisle to make changes. So I, my goal as state super, or as governor is to make sure that we seek solutions instead of seeking, figuring out what divides us. We already know that. Most people in political campaigns will tell you the number one issue is jobs and the economy. Is that true for you or is it education? It's, it's both. It's my belief that if we invest in people, whether it's young, young people in the K-12 through system, whether it's the, the, the people in our colleges and technical colleges and our universities, or people from all walks of life, investing in people is what brings uh, jobs to Wisconsin. $3 billion is a lot of money. I believe if we invest in our people, invest in the citizens of the state, jobs will be there. And you've been uh, critical at times uh, of, of budgets that the governor has put forward uh, to deal with uh, K-12 through education in the state. But right now there's a budget out there that's likely to be approved that's going to contain a 
big increase for yeah. education. How do you campaign against that? Well, first of all, it's just, it is cost of living. And uh, if you go back uh, several years, and in fact, with the divide and conquer time that, that Governor Walker came into office, we're barely catching up and, and we aren't even caught up. So yes, it's great that we're having uh, some success this biennium, but the previous bienniums were really tragic for our kids and, and for higher education. The University of Wisconsin system continues to struggle. The technical college system continues to struggle. We need to invest in, in, our, in our citizens and in our kids. Tony Evers is the uh, state school superintendent. He's now also a Democratic candidate for governor. It's good to have you back on Thanks, the program. Man. Thanks very much for being with us. Coming up next on Upfront, Milwaukee's mayor asking the governor and state lawmakers to authorize a new tax. Mm -hmm.